I feel like that's been like a recurring theme throughout when you hold the title because like there are these big matches that get planned and you know, unfortunately things happen like Bailey, Sasha, Rhea. How has that been for you adjusting like on the fly an awful lot? Because I mean, a lot of these big matches, eventually we know they, they happen, but yeah. some of them kind of get taken off the table yeah. and we can't see them. How, how do you react to situations like that? I mean, it's been a bit frustrating, you know? It's been kind of like the story of my title reign all, all the way from SmackDown until now. And every single time I feel like it's been Carmella that stepped in and she's even stepped yeah. in for Money in the Bank. So um, I just know not to underestimate her for Money in the Bank this year either. But, you know, it's, I feel like it's frustrating, but at the same time, it's just pushing me to be even better. I'm very adaptable. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I got caught slipping last year in Vegas and so it's just teaching me to always be adaptable and be prepared for whatever comes and so it's just making me a better competitor. And yeah, even to the point where last year they, they ran Carmella out there for us to be like, her again? <laughs> her again? But I mean, I think she is also one of those people that has been adaptable. Yeah. Are, what, what aspects of that do you think that you have grown the most at since joining the main roster? Because we have seen you like switch up some things, try some new things that we didn't see before. Um, I think I've just been super adaptable with being prepared for whoever my opponent is. You know, I always pride myself on being ready and available and being there for when I need to be there. And so, you know, just to show up and show out whatever I'm supposed to do that day and be great at my job, yes. you know, and be able to just, you know, even through the pandemic, uh, when I was first introduced to the main roster crowd, main roster crowd was on the wrong SmackDown during the pandemic. And I had to do that with no fans. Yeah. So I've had to figure out how to, you know, touch people and relate to people and, and get people to feel. So I feel like I've been able to adapt a lot with, you know, I, have, I feel like I have the physical capabilities to show that I'm the EST WWE, but be able to adapt with um, making people feel something. Yes. I think that that's what I've grown a lot from the most. 